the big Japanese electronics retailers like Big Camera have really perfected the business art of the points program. They've understood that by giving points to customers, it is a win-win situation. Customers are paying the retail price. Of course, when the retailers are buying their stock, they're getting it at the wholesale price. So they have their margin there. So effectively, instead of giving you a cash discount by giving you points, uh, they are giving you something which is valuable to you from a retail perspective. They're preserving their profit margin and it has this extra bonus that it gets you in a longer term relationship with the store. You have to come back and use those points. Now, many people will come back to the store and they will be tempted to buy something else so they can actually extract, get more cash from you. And then, of course, those points too, they can start to partner with other programs. And we've seen a business like Staya, owned by Culture Convenience Club, CCC, that have actually turned T-Points into a commodity in their own right. Uh, of course, the T-Points that most retailers and third-party retailers are giving are much, much smaller by comparison with the electronic stores where the points are 10, 12, even 15 percent. Sometimes they wind it back to only 8 percent if you pay with a credit card, sometimes not, sometimes the full 10 percent. But it shows very clearly that potent difference between the wholesale price, the resale price, and in a sense the ability to give omake, uh, to give uh, a benefit to customers to close a deal while avoiding the problem of price erosion. They can maintain their headline prices at a higher point while nonetheless making it more affordable for you. It also gives them something to negotiate over, that they can throw you extra points, for example, discreetly uh, for those customers who do push a little bit harder uh, on price at the point of purchase.